Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Adesi and I got my hair sister locked, baby. I'm sister locked. My hair is locked officially. I know it looks scanty, it looks tiny, it doesn't look like the regular locks right now, but give my hair like three months and you'd be amazed. I just want to make this video to share what my experience was like, how long it took, you know, what the process was like. Um, I also, um, you know, before I got my hair locked, I was looking out for a lot of people who had short hair like mine because I locked my hair at three inches. Like a lot of people who have videos on the internet have like their hair like at this point. So I just wanted to make this video in case your hair is short like mine and you're about to go on this journey of being sister locked. This hair for me is a representation of the stage of life that I'm at and watching it grow is like watering the plants and just kind of seeing how it blossoms. So I'm really excited for the monthly updates and yearly updates um, that I'm going to bring your way and I'm going to experience for my hair as well. So let's get right into the details of my hair. My hair is, um, I have 487 locks installed and I think the average is between like 350 to 500. So my locks are almost 500, which is kind of like the average number you would get. We started at about 9.30 a.m. and ended at about 4.50 p.m. and I took about an hour break here and there. So my math is not great, but an average of six hours was what it took. I've heard and I, I had two locticians on my hair so two two ladies were you know doing the hair from the very beginning so I guess if it was only one person that we're almost looking at doubling the number of time or the number of hours it took by about one and a half right so it might have taken me anywhere from seven hours to about 10 hours to complete it was a home service so I was at the comfort of my home they came to my house and then we got it done um, so what was the experience like? It was, initially it didn't feel like anything, like I couldn't really feel anything going on, but as they progressed and having like the tension from two sides and considering how tiny it is and the number of locks that I have in my hair is like over 400. So over 400 times my hair was being picked and interlocked. And so it kind of was discomforting at the, towards the end I started feeling pain even when it went through like to the middle you know so that was discomforting I also felt pain the first night and even the second night after my locks got installed like but I could feel like yesterday it was easing off which was the second day but the first day like it was so difficult to go to bed um, another thing is I chose the interlocking method because my hair is again really short and so it kind of seemed like the only way my hair would lock you know because if they twisted it it was going to unravel if they braided it it was going to unravel so the interlocking was the best option for me i think i'm all over the place let me come back to read them all right so before my hair got before my appointment i had a zoom consultation i know like a couple of people do like in-person consultation where you go see your location and then they check your hair to make sure everything looks good make sure the length is okay but for me it was over zoom with um it wasn't even a private consultation like i had the option of paying, paying privately to like be consulted um to have consultation or pay for like a group consultation. I just chose a group consultation to be fair. We were about four, four young ladies, four ladies who were interested in locking their hair all in Nigeria. And, you know, it was nice, you know, just hearing different people with different hair textures and different length. I'm um, talking about the, the, their intentions to get locked. We discussed hair texture, length of hair, you know, preference of like how you want it to look. Um, do you want small locks? Do you want medium? Do you want large locks? Like we talked about all of that. I went for the interlocking, tiny locks because my hair was short and I also kind of wanted it to be quite in numbers. So I went for this option. So typically when, when the hair is locked, you are supposed to do the braid and banding for a couple of days. Um, until your first retightening where you kind of retighten the new growth because my hair is short 
I um, I went for the option of putting it in bantu knots. So it's been in this form since my hair has been done, like since um, the 28th of January. Now it's the third day. It's been this way since I got it done, and I'm, it's gonna be this way till my next retightening, which is four weeks from now, the 28th of February. Until then, I do not get to unravel this hair. It stays this way, and that's because it takes a while before your hair actually starts to f like lock. And when it's just recently done, it stands the the chance of um, you know unraveling. And so my hairstylist recommended that I put it in this form, just so it can stay that way and become you know begin to form. And then at my next retightening they're going to help me wash it and yeah so i don't get to wash my hair for now till the till the 28th of february so how is how it works is my retightening will be done the first retightening i'll be getting will be done in four weeks like four weeks from when you initially got it installed it's automatic like it just would happen four weeks from then and then afterwards i think you'll be looking at like four to five weeks five to six weeks before your next retightening and for some people it extends like you get to a point where you probably can do six weeks um before your next retightening like after the first three months i might not have to put my hair in bands anymore because it would just like it would thrive better and i could even wash it as i like you know i'm waiting for that time i didn't really have a lot of these details like before I went into it like I, I guess like you learn as you go and it's funny because I didn't even watch a lot of YouTube videos because I didn't want to, like you see YouTube videos around oh don't do it or my regrets and everything and I didn't want to like know like I don't want to know what the regrets are because I, I wanted to do it now that I've gotten it done I'm now ready to like watch videos so that I can learn how not to make some of the mistakes that people have made or how to better take care of my hair because now it's been done so there's no undo in it you know um but yeah that's it i think uh i don't want this video to be too long i feel like it's even a little too serious you know but the summary of this is that i got my hair locked my hair was three inches when i got it locked so you can also get your hair locked if it's short i think it's actually a minimum of two inches to get it locked but you hardly see a lot of people who have their hair two inches um getting it locked so i just wanted you to have an idea of what it looks like um when it's really short i forgot to mention that when you just get your hair sister locked it's gonna look scanty and tiny like this however after a couple of months it begins to flashing out it becomes fluffier it becomes longer it becomes thicker you get like density around it because then it's no longer as new um so my hair is going to look a lot different after a couple of months um from now i think that that's something that a lot of people are shocked at like when they just get their hair locked they're like oh my god why is this so like tiny why is it so scanty don't worry it gets better like even for long or short hair like it changes over time so i think that that's something to notice well I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe so that you can keep up to date with the updates of my hair and kind of go with me on this journey. I also make a lot of mental health videos and lifestyle videos like vlogs. So you can also, um, you know, watch the rest of my videos. It's love here and it's all fun right here. And uh, I'll see you in my next one.